Let us take a look here at GitHub Flavored Markdown, also known as GFM. This is a dialect of Markdown that is currently supported for user content on GitHub.com and GitHub Enterprise. GFM provides powerful functionality such as collapsible sections, embedded mathematical expressions, embedded diagrams, relative paths or linking to files in the same repo, task lists that can be converted into issues, extended formatting for tables, shorthands to auto links to issues, pull requests, and repos, render code snippets from other code bases via linking, and more. Um, and we can see the whole detailed spec at GFM spec uh, website here. So that's at github.com forward slash GFM. It's a really good read and I'm being sarcastic because it is very dry, but let's take a look at the functionality we're listing here on the left-hand side so you have a really clear idea of what you can do. So the first that I think is really cool is having um, better syntaxes, or sorry, a control over your tables. So here you could actually have embedded syntax within the table cells, which is not a normal thing you can usually do with Markdown. Another thing is more uh, control over the look or formatting of your tables, so you can uh, better align that stuff. I imagine that they have things like merging cells and uh, excluding the headers. I think that they have that, but um, these are the two that I can remember that are a big deal. Um, they have this details tag, and this allows you to have collapsible sections. Uh, it has support for mermaids, so this allows you to render things like um, uh, DAGs, dicrylic, direct acrylic graphs. It's just a type of graph, okay? Um, we have GeoJSON and TopoJSON. This allows you to create interactive maps. So here's an example of GeoJSON, and then here's an example of TopoJSON. I imagine that they render a bit differently, so one might be better than the other in terms of information shown. Then we can uh, render 3D models. So that's kind of cool. Um, it can render mathematical expressions. And I really know LaTeX because I used to work for a math uh, educational startup. And so you have your double dollar sign for your LaTeX, or you can use uh, fencing blocks, code blocks, and have math. This is using MathJax. So if you're wondering what implementation, that's what it's using. And so those will both render out the same thing based on what syntax you want to use. Um, if you have links, they'll automatically be linked. That's not like a GitHub specific thing, but it is something that, um, they have set their defaults for their markdown to do. But what is really interesting are these quick links. So the idea is if we do pound 26 or gh-26, it'll create hyperlinks. And these hyperlinks will go to issues, which is super useful. Um, might go for pull requests as well, because they usually treat the numbers as the same. So like if you make an issue one and you make a pull request, the next ID will be two in your project, if that makes sense. Within comments, you can quickly link to other repos. So if you have something that looks like a repo, it's gonna to go to a repo. Uh, that would be the final product uh, produce there. And then you can also link things based on um, commit SHAs. So yeah, a lot of cool linking. Um, task lists can be, uh, can with, uh, can be, op can to be turned into open issues, kind of wrote that a bit weird. You can associate tasks to specific issues, creating basically subtasks. GitHub can keep track of your open or closed state of linked issues. You can on click turn a task and associate with an issue. So here is your usual task list, but notice there's like little icons and stuff um, and you can also reorder them. So a lot of great uh, additional functionality that is on the rendered side or uh, on the markdown side that is new. Uh, but yeah, that is GFM. You should know some of the stuff because it really does make it a lot easier to work on GitHub. But there you go, ciao.